YouTube, what's going on? Kyle again from ePool Supply. Today we are back with a what's in the box for you guys on ANA Manufacturing Leaf Vac Complete. So we're going to dive into this. I want to show you guys what a brand new in the box Leaf Vac uh, debris canister looks like. So stay tuned. All right, guys, and we're back. So again, today we got a what's in the box for you guys on ANA Manufacturing. This is their Leaf Vac Complete. So I will tell you the part number is 522538. Again, if you guys are interested in these items, you want more information, you guys wanna know what they're selling for, check out the links in the description below, take you directly to our website, check it out, read more information, contact us if you got more questions. But this will be a brand new complete canister that will be uh, generally around the build process. These are able to be plumbed in after the fact, so it's not necessarily something that you have to have right at the build process. Uh, but this this is best done when you don't have to uh, dig up anything or, or rearrange any piping. So if you have the opportunity from the get-go, make sure you guys try to use this right in with all the rest of your ANA Popo Peds Pentair equipment. Um, definitely highly recommend these. They are meant to be a uh, pre-filter to your pump. So these debris canisters just catch those larger debris that maybe slipped past your skimmer or made it through a different uh, method somehow into your, your pipe, main drain, whatever it may be. And this will actually get pre-plumbed in directly before your pump so that this will catch all that larger debris before it actually makes it to your pump basket. So it's gonna be huge on not having to go out and empty your pump basket as much because this is gonna actually do that for you. The, as you can see, this box is pretty massive. Once we take it out, you'll see the actual canister itself can take a lot of debris. So if you have a lot of uh, heavy leaves, uh, twigs, sticks like that, and you don't wanna take the risk of blowing your pump, this is your best option to make sure, excuse me, that all that debris is caught before it hits that pump and makes its way through the impeller. So let's go ahead. I already have it pre-cut for you guys. Again, this is the full complete unit. You guys, once you have one of these, you guys can buy all the other parts separately. Um, again, we're going to have all the links down below for you guys on the complete, as well as a full part breakdown from the website for you guys on, um, on all the individual parts. So. All right, so all that's in the box is the complete unit, and then they give you your plumbing instructions. So um, they call it the new three-inch quick vac, quick leaf vac. So um, definitely a, a large piece of equipment. So it is a three-inch plumbing. So you will need to use couplers or reducers, um, you know, extenders, whatever it may be, in order to fit the the piping on this unit itself. So I'll kind of lift it up. It is installed and plumbed just like this. So you normally have the debris coming in and then you're gonna send it down through the basket and then underneath, and then you're gonna send it back to your pump. And then from there, obviously your pump's gonna catch any other fine debris from here. And then if it blows to your pump basket, obviously then it's gonna get put into your your filter and depending on your media type that will catch that debris as well. So um, really, really cool unit. I definitely highly recommend them. Uh, they're reasonably priced, so you're not looking at a crazy amount of money, but I cracked the lid here for you guys. I want to open it up so I can show you guys that was loud. Uh, so go ahead. It's just a twist lock, just similar to your pump. So you're going to twist lock it off. It does have the ramming cam just like uh, you, you would for your pool pump. It's got the actual outer locking ring and then you have your inner clear lid so you can actually see me and make sure the water's flowing through it. And then of course, underneath the lid, you're gonna have your O-ring as well. That's going to make sure that this thing seals on here properly to make sure everything is working. And then of course, you're gonna open it up and we've got our union kits. So they give you the full union kit. So then that way you guys can unionize it. So if anything happens to this housing or later down the line, you guys decide that you guys actually don't want this piece of equipment anymore, you are able to remove it with the unions and then uh, replumb accordingly. And then of course, inside they have the awesome, notorious giant leaf vac basket. So again, this is a really heavy duty plastic basket. You guys can see the, uh, the, the size that it's got here in order to hold a debris. You can definitely fit quite a bit of leaves in here, especially um, through those monsoon seasons for us out here in Arizona. Um, I imagine back east, you guys dealing with a lot of fall, losing a lot of leaves. This is definitely a good way to pre-plumb in and make sure that that pump 
uh, doesn't have to fight all those leaves and debris, and it saves you the time from having to go out there quite as often to actually empty your pump basket um, to make sure that all of the debris isn't clogging up your impeller and burning up your pump. So pretty straightforward. I mean, that's all that you're looking at. It's It comes with that basket. Everything's gonna be included inside. It's just for shipping purposes. So then that way everything can stay nice and tight in here. Again, the basket's really nice. It also has a metal handle on it. So everything's in there for that. So it's really easy to remove. It's not going to be um, in the deck. It's not buried. So it's much easier to be able to get to rather than having to fight that, that pump basket and uh, deal with getting all that done. So. Go ahead and slide this all back. Again, the unions come with uh, with O-rings as well to make sure everything seals up nice. But it does already have the two and a half inch slip, I think. So two and a half inch will, will plumb directly in. If you're looking for three inch, you're gonna actually use a three inch coupling and you'll, and you'll go over the union. And then if you're looking at uh, two inch PVC, you're gonna have to do a two and a half inch to two inch reducer in order to go into the union. Um, obviously this will not work for inch and a half pipes. So you're gonna end up having to grow up. You need that flow in order to make sure that you're pushing everything here. And then again, you always wanna make sure that you have enough horsepower from your pump in order for this to make sense. So pretty straightforward. Again, this is gonna give you plumbing instructions, kind of tell you where it's at. Um, I can kind of show you guys a general picture. Like I said, it's gonna get pre-plumbed in before your pump. So you're gonna have your suction side coming in. It's gonna go up into this actual front of the filter. It's gonna go down all the way through the basket, filter out, go down underneath the ground, 90 over, and then come back up and go into your pump. So if you wanna know any more about that, again, please contact us directly. We'll have all the information available for you guys directly on our website. Um, I know I got the crew working on some blogs to provide you guys with more information. So then I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and twist this lid back on. Again, it falls in, it's got spots just like your pump lid does. So it's got its own little spots to lock in. Rubber mallet, don't ever use a hammer on this. It is still a uh, still a molded plastic. So the last thing you guys wanna do is uh, snap that and, and end up having to dig out and replace the entire unit. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, any questions, check out the links in the description. Make sure you guys like the video. Please be sure to subscribe. We're gonna have more what's in the box for ANA stuff, as well as some insight, uh, some on-site videos for you guys so you guys can actually check these things out in action. So until then, I'm Kyle from Pool Spy, and we'll see you next time.